Let's go to James chapter 4, verse 4. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So what does adulterers and adulteresses mean? Now, when you see this in the Bible, it can mean two things. One, you are having sex with someone that is married that you aren't married to. Number two, this can mean that Or this can be referring to people who aren't serving God. We are supposed to serve the one and only true God. But when you choose to serve other idol gods or make something your idol and place it higher than God, The Bible is calling you an adulterer. So this can mean two things. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. So what does enmity mean? Let's look it up. The state or feeling of being actively opposed or hostile to someone or something. So pretty much hostility, bad feelings. You are against that person or a group of people. So there is not really any connection. Like I am against you. You are against me, so there is enmity between us, hostility, nothing good. Okay. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. So what does friendship of the world? As we may know, there are more people who don't serve God that do serve God. So there are much more sinners than the people who serve God. So if you are a friend of this world that are full of sinners, listen, have you ever tried as a Christian, let me say this, if you are serving God, <laughs> have you tried teaching some people about the Bible? Now with some people, they are going to react <laughs> in some cases in this rude or angry way. In some cases, they are not going to accept or receive what you are saying because what you are saying is against the way that they are living. For instance, I was telling someone something in the comment section and that person was saying to me or message to me that I am judging him or her or this person said it in this beat around the bush way so in so many words that person wrote back pretty much saying that I am judging in a very mean way I guess I was judging wrongly against that person. When you are a man or woman of God, since there are more sinners in this world than people who actually serve God, when you teach people about the Bible, in some cases, they are not going to be able to receive it because what you are teaching about is against the way that they live. So you are going to hear in some cases 
Who are you to judge me? You are wrong. You are being so pushy or mean or rude. Okay, so the friendship of the world. So chances are, if sinners like you, let's say that a group of sinners, how can I say this? Let's say that there is a person that claims to be a preacher or a teacher. And let's say that groups of people who don't want to stop sinning acknowledge or love that preacher. Chances are that preacher is not teaching rightly because <laughs> if that person is teaching rightly, in many cases, that preacher is going to be persecuted in some way or form. They are not going to like that man because if that preacher is teaching rightly, sinners or many sinners, I guess I can say, is not going to like that person. I know for myself, when I tell some people about God, let me say this. There is a low percentage of people who are actually going to receive or accept what I say to them about God. So if I were to come to a person's house and tell them about God when they don't want to hear about God, how can I say that? Let's just say that, as it seems, there are many people who don't want to hear about God. And as you see how this world is, people want to be homosexual. People want to lie. People want to cheat. People want to have sex before marriage. People, many people don't want to do right. So when you come out there telling them, hey, you need to stop sinning, in some cases, people are going to be angry with you. So if there is a person that is loved by most or many, chances are that person is not of God. Woo. I am telling you. So if you see a person where everyone loves him, everyone, chances are that person is not of God. And I am not saying any names and I am not pointing any fingers. So you can't say, Kevin, you are judging. I am not judging. I am telling you what the Bible is saying. Because a true man or woman of God most of the world is not going to love that person because that person is going to be teaching against their life, their ways. So we can't be a friend of this world because most of this world, as it seems, many people in this world are in sin. So how would it... How would it look like for me to be a man of God, but 90% of my friends are sinners? <laughs> How can you feel comfortable with me when I am a man of God and I am teaching you about God? How would you like me being around when you like and love a life of sin. It is not going to fit right. But if I am a preacher that says that, hey, having sex before marriage is okay. Doing sin is, is okay. Once saved, always saved. Now, if I am that way, yes, you are going to like me being around because I am approving of your lifestyle. But if I am teaching against your lifestyle, when you love that lifestyle, chances are 
you are not going to like me being around you, which is normal. <laughs> so know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. So if you are a friend of this world, if many people like you, chances are you are in sin as well. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So obviously this is saying, if you can read into it, many people in this world or can I say most of the people in this world are in sin. So if you are friendly or if you are a friend of many sinners, if you are able to fit in, <laughs> if you are able to fit in with many sinners, something is wrong with you. If you can feel comfortable being around many sinners, something is wrong with you. I was telling this woman, hey, you should not go to clubs and stuff like that. And I believe in some way or form, I can be wrong. That woman may think that I am being too strict or I don't know what I am talking about. Listen, I have been to clubs. I have been to bars. It would feel very awkward for me to go to a bar or club now. I would feel out of place by far. So if you can fit in with people that smoke weed, if you can fit in with people who love to get drunk, if you can fit in with people that do drugs, something is wrong with you. Perhaps you are a sinner as well. So this once saved, always saved doctrine, that mess is so wrong. So wrong as you can see here. Enmity with God. So let me stop here. God bless you.